Hi Mushlings and welcome to this brief new episode of Musha's Painting Academy for Beginners 101. I said brief because in this video I'll show you my palettes and how to paint bird and hair. Therefore, it won't take too much. First of all, let's have a quick view to my main palettes for any kind of color. So my black palette for black hair and bird is black, ashen grey, downstone and administratum grey. For brown hair and bird, we have rhinoxide, gothel brown and bane blade brown. This is the palette for red hair and bird. We have Mephisto red, Watsdaka red, Wild Rider red and Fire Dragon bright. For orange hair and bird, we have Monfang brown, Skag brown and Dead Claw brown or a variation with Troll Slayer orange and Fire Dragon bright. My blonde hair and bird palette is made of Dumbo Brown, Valor Brown, Zamezi Desert, Angor Flash and Flare One Flash. White hair and bird, we have two variations, one warm and one cool. So for the warm option, we have black, ivory and white, while gray sea apothecary white and white is for the cooler one. Painting hair can be hard because in real life it's much more translucent than on most minis. Also, the sculpture makes its part on the work. And what I mean is exactly the difference we can find here between Tyrion and my last project of 2020, the Khajiit. On Tyrion we have thicker strands, therefore it's easier to play with lights and shadows and achieve what I call the Pantene effect due to the shampoo advertising in TV. While for the Khajiit, it was a bit more difficult because they're sculpted so thin and a lot randomly. I'm not saying that it's not well sculpted, of course, but we have to adjust our brush strokes and manner to paint them based on the sculpt we have before us. A good idea is always to find good references on the web by looking at flowing hair and seeing how it reflects light. I really recommend finding real life examples of similar hair of our model. So the insides and outsides of the curves reflect the most light in real life. So that's the goal on our mini. Bear in mind that we will always have our focal point where the very max lights will be, but all other enlightened parts will have a dim light. Start with the darker colors and move to light colors closer and closer to where light bounces naturally. So the lightest will be at the apex of the curves and the darkest inside. So guys, there isn't much more to say about theories. We only have to adapt ourselves depending on the miniature we have before us and be careful on the light we want to apply on our miniature if OSL or just Zenithal. So let me show you how it should work applying the Zenithal light. And as always, we will divide our single parts in sections and put the max lights always on the upper parts. And the brush strokes must follow too, as we want the color to accumulate where the max light stands and it's more saturated.
guys, I really hope that this quick back on size printing tutorial will be helpful because it's time to enjoy your printing with hair and birds now. For those who have just found my channel and liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to not lose any updates. In the next episode, I'll teach you how to paint female skin tone, mainly using glazing and makeup. The figure I'm going to use is Alariel from the Silverleth Army. See you in the next video and warm up your brushes.